Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will talk about a powerful feature of Microsoft Defender for Cloud that is just-in-time VM access. This feature helps reducing your exposure to the attacks by limiting the open ports and the access windows. My name is Navneet Kumar and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. The learning objectives of this video are what is JIT virtual machine access, why use this just-in-time VM access, how it works, finally a demonstration on implementing and configuring the just-in-time VM access using Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Without any further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, what is just-in-time VM access? The just-in-time VM access is a feature of Microsoft Defender for Cloud which allows you to lock down the inbound traffic to your Azure virtual machines instead of leaving the ports like the RDP or SSH ports open all the time. The just-in-time VM access lets you open them only when it is required and only to the specific IP addresses or the CIDR blocks. If you look at the screenshot where a request has been sent to access the virtual machine. So this request will be approved and the network security group rules of the virtual machines will be dynamically managed to allow the access if this request satisfies the requirements. Well, the just-in-time VM access does nothing but the dynamic management of the network security groups. The network security groups are the access control list to control the inbound or outbound traffic. Why shall we use this just-in-time VM access? There are several reasons. Number one, it minimizes the risk by blocking the ports when not in use. For example, if I need the access to the virtual machine to manage it only for one hour, then why shall I keep that port for the remote management like 3389 or SSH 22 port open for all the time? So this increases the risk. So if I reduce the uh, time frame, if I do this in time bound manner, it reduces the risk for the brute force kind of attacks. Dynamic management of NSG rules is done through the just-in-time VM access. So we have the option to open or uh, block the ports on the virtual machines through the NSGs, but that is a static process. You have to manually adjust these rules. Well, how it works, the just-in-time VM access does nothing but the management of the NSG rules dynamically. As you see in this screenshot, when I enable the just-in-time VM access on a virtual machine, a rule with 4096 priority number was created that is there to deny everything, any access to the virtual machine. As a best practice in access control list, first we block everything and then we start opening. So it was for 3389 that it was blocked for any IP or from any uh, protocol for the target virtual machine. Then when I requested the access upon the approval of the request, the rule with 100 priority with this number uh, was created for the particular IP address, source IP address, and it is the allow rule to allow the 3389. So lower the number, higher the priority is the rule in the network security groups in the access control list. In this case, this rule with the priority number 100 will be the winning one and this rule will be automatically deleted after one hour of duration that i have configured as an admin or maybe the request when when request was sent so it was approved and it was approved for one hour so this rule that is with rule number uh, or priority number 100 will be automatically deleted by the just-in-time vm access feature that's what i said in the introduction of it that it does nothing but the dynamic management of these NSG rules. Let's look into the demonstration on enabling and protecting the virtual machines with this just-in-time VM access feature using Microsoft Defender for Cloud. For enabling the just-in-time VM access on our servers, the first thing we need to do is we need to look for our Microsoft Defender for Cloud that we have enabled it or we have 
uh, turned it on for the virtual machines to use this uh, for the virtual machines to protect we can go to the management in the defender for cloud and there we have environment settings there we can see all our subscriptions the resources and here is the subscription msdn platform subscription which i will use and will show you the configuration for the servers the different sort of protections that can be enabled for these servers here you see under the plan we have the servers the defender for cloud can also protect many other things the monitoring coverage setting is there and i have turned it on for the servers this plan under the monitoring, I can do the log analytics, agent vulnerability assessment or for the endpoint protection and guest configuration agent, agent less scanning or file integrity, I can manage for these virtual machines. Well, now that we have seen that for the servers, this Microsoft Defender uh, for cloud is turned on. I create a virtual machine on which I will enable this just in time VM access. For this, I create a virtual machine using the uh, marketplace image I will provide the parameters for this virtual machine like which location I want to keep it in so in the subscription the resource group target resource group where I want to keep this VM the virtual machines name then the location where I want to create this virtual machine infrastructure availability if i need i can go with that i'm going with no infrastructure availability the username and the password allow selected ports so 3389 i'm going with none i'm not opening anything because i want to use just in time vm access this is the storage i set up the networking a new vnet and a subnet and a public ip address on this server the network security group will be a basic nsg i will ignore rest of the settings and will create this virtual machine well this virtual machine is deployed and now i want to enable the just-in-time vm access on this virtual machine to manage it remotely for this i will go to the settings blade on the left and the configurations blade under that here I have the option to enable the just-in-time on this virtual machine. As you see that the just-in-time access is successfully enabled on this virtual machine. I can show you the network settings for the network security group where the rules through this just-in-time have been onboarded. Like this rule is right now 4096, the first rule that is to deny the 3389, the RDP access to this virtual machine and this rule has been created automatically by just in time as you see the name of it is microsoft defender for cloud just in time rule there is no access to 3389 now the question is that uh, if this is being denied so how someone will access it so for that i will configure the just in time uh, configuration we'll do the configuration for this just in time here under that same settings and uh, the configuration under the settings this configuration blade under the configuration i have this open microsoft defender for cloud from here and there is one machine which is configured you can see not configured or unsupported machines unsupported machines are those machines which do not have any nsg associated with them so first you need to associate an nsg and then you will be able to uh, enable the just-in-time vm access on them this is 3389 rule per request basis this is for 3389 any and per request or cider block so i can decide per request so this is what where from i can confirm a particular cider block from my corporate network etc and the time i'm going to allow so let's say this uh, okay so per request and any ip address star means and then one hour is the time frame that has been uh, allowed now i will save this configuration as an administrator to manage the access to these virtual machines now the administrators want to connect to these virtual machines will go to this connect blade and from the connect they will click on the connect and uh, there will be an option to request the access so this is my public ip address i want to uh, request the access and uh, all configured ip addresses or from my local machines ip this is from my client this ip address and I will click on request access. The access will be approved because as per my configuration for 3389 per IP address, it was enabled. If 
I wanted to configure it for particular CIDR block so I could have done it from there. Now this is uh, how the request has been approved and the user can download the RDP file or can select the native RDP connections and can connect to this virtual machine and manage it. If you look at the network security group once again, so there will be one more rule with the priority number 100 created over here. If I take you to this NSG, the network security group associated on this VM, the rule 100 is created and for 3389 it is allowed from this IP address 106.222.201.140. And this will be only for one hour. After one hour, this rule will be automatically deleted from here. And then finally, the winning rule will be 4096, which is denying the 3389 access on the VM. So that's what the, uh, the just-in-time VM access does. Nothing but the dynamic management of your NSG rules. Upon request, the NSG rule is created to allow the access. If I show you not configured, configured machines here, if I show you the approved request, so there will be, uh, if I refresh this portal, there will be one request approved for a user. So you can look for the activity logs, the audit trail is also available. One request has uh, been approved, have been approved. The request have been approved will be displayed here, excuse me. So here we see the, we can look at the activity logs if there are any activity logs for the uh, management of these machines.